Hey guys, this is uh, Vincent and I have a copy of uh, Exposure X6 in uh, front of me. So I'm just going to do a quick uh, landscape edit with uh, Exposure X6 which was uh, released um, at the end of uh, 2020 or actually about one or two months ago it was uh, released. And here I have a, a photo of, um, look, let me see, it's actually a Jas it's in Jasper National Park, Canada. It's uh, e the Edith Caval Pond here, the Angel Glacier, and the Edith Caval Glacier, I believe. And as you can see, it's a misty or kind of like a foggy day. So I'm just going to do a basic edit here. I'm not going to uh, make a crop or anything like that. Just so you could see everything that's happening in this uh, full image that I uh, photographed with my uh, Canon uh, 6D. Alright, so... Let me get started here. So uh, one thing that's new here with uh, Exposure X6 is the uh, noise, redu noise reduction. So it's uh, camera specific or image sensors specific. So here I already have the uh, Canon 60 uh, selected, but you can select the other. You can select other cameras if you want. And I'm just going to zoom in here. And this image doesn't have too much uh, noise or no no noise at all from what I can see or nothing uh, noticeable. The ISO is uh, 250. I'm pretty sure I photographed this handheld and so I'm not going to do any uh, noise reduction but it's there uh, in case you need to use it for one of your images with a uh, higher ISO or low lighting. And what I will do is uh, some uh, sharpening. Actually, I'll be doing some edge sharpening mainly on this image since it's a, a landscape photo. So I'll just go to the sharpening tool here. Increase the sharpening. Let me see the before and after. So there is a noticeable difference. Let me just zoom out. And I don't want everything sharpened, so I'll mask it. I'll hold Alt or Option on the masking tool here, or slider. And, oh, I think this is good enough for the sharpen right here. And as you can see, there seems to be some dust spots or debris at the top. Uh, I'm not too sure what it is. I'm not going to bother looking at it or trying to clean it up. Uh, if you guys want to do that for your images, that's fine, but it looks visibly fine to me for now anyways or for this uh, video uh, so I'll just go to the basic tool here and just because it's dark heal I'll increase the shadows a little bit and I'll go to the tone curve increase the mid tones a little bit and just slightly brighten up the image Okay, great, and uh, let me see here. So now what I want to do is create a brush or a mask, I should say. And let me add a new layer right there. And I already have the brush selected. I'll just increase it. And actually I need to inverse this mask. So I'll go here, invert it, or yeah. And I'm just going to brush this in. Don't worry about that warning sign. And since you can't really see the mask here, I'm going to show the mask here. And you can see it's like a teal or turquoise color. I actually changed the uh, mask using this hue slider here. There's also different ways to look at the mask. Uh, you can click on mask only, visualize luminance, or the saturation, or whatever you're selecting. I'll just go back to the overlay. Go back to the mask here. Doesn't need to be perfect. Uh, but it did mess it up a little bit, so I'm just going to erase a little bit of it here. And 
add a little bit more right here. All right, that looks good. Or good enough. All right, so with this layer selected, or layer two, I'm gonna change the color of this uh, pond using the advanced, or the color, advanced color tab here. So you go to color, and I'm gonna use advanced color editor. I'm gonna select this color picker and select this. And with this advanced color editor, I keep forgetting its name, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna widen the hue. You can also see like the feathering or the gradient here, but if you can play with the hand tool, you can widen it, widen it a little bit. So this is convert from and just convert to. So I'm just gonna get, give it a blue color here. And I'm also gonna go to the saturation slider here and just increase the blue and the cyan. just select the range a little bit better. Now I'm just going to play with this hue a little bit. See what kind of color I can get. Now you can also show the overlay of what it's selecting. So it's selecting all of these, this range here. But remember I have the mask here so Right now, it's only going to affect this pond. And I'm going to increase the saturation a little bit more. And the cyan. And let me double check the luminance. See how it looks if I increase it a little bit. Just increase the blue. And I'll look at the before and after. So it looks much better, or at least to me. And now I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to add a gradient and just colorize or color grade the top here, the top of the mountain or the sky a little bit here. So I'll select this gradient. Don't show again. Actually, I actually have to inverse it right here. Okay. I am going to show this mask. Let me try to line it up. So I'm just trying to line up this gradient kind of parallel to this uh, foreground here. Okay, that looks good. I'll remove the show mask tool. And I'll go back to the layer. And I do want to add a lookup table here to color grade it. And I already used it or tested the sepia tone, which looks okay here, or pretty decent. And I'm just showing an example. There's different ways to color grade it. And I'm going to go back to the this layer here, the second layer. Take a look at the color. I'm going to the saturation with the saturation again just double checking how it looks and going back to layer three I'm just gonna decrease slightly the lookup table to sepia tone and staying on layer three what I'm going to do is add a glow to it so you go to the IR tab for the preset and you can go to the low medium 
or strong. So let me show the before and after of the glow. Just gives a, a slightly warming glow or feel to like the top of the mountain. All right, so this is the after image, so this is the final image. I can also vignette it or crop it after, but I'm just showing the final photo, or not the final photo, but just some basic edits uh, with the tools. Uh, and by the way, the advanced color editor, it is uh, one of the new tools in uh, Exposure, Exposure X6. The interface has changed a little bit as well. So let's take a look at the before and after of the image. Uh, it looks much, much better to me. Of course, there's a different type of grading or transitions you can do to make the sky or the top here uh, transition better to this uh, pond as well as align it with this uh, the green here. But it's a simple edit. I hope you liked this video and if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up or uh, subscribe. Enjoy and have a good one.